Hey guys, it's me, the Merrigan, and today we have Nestle Baby Ruth bursting with peanuts, rich caramel, and chewy nougat. Savor the good stuff. Alright, here we have the nutrition facts 280 calories per bar, 40% of your saturated fat, cholesterol 0%, sodium 5%. Fiber, one gram of fiber equals 5% of your daily value. Total carbs is 13% and protein is 4%. And they advertise four grams of protein per bar, but I mean, you could easily, I don't know, eat beef jerky to get your protein requirement. Um, this bar has mostly peanuts and caramel. Um, let me see here at the ingredients list. Peanuts, corn syrup, hydrogenated palm kernel oil, non-fat milk, cocoa, and corn syrup. I mean... It's mainly just peanuts. Artificial natural flavors, huh? I didn't expect that at this bar, but... All right, well, let's go ahead and get into some of the history of this bar. Baby Ruth started in Chicago in the, uh, in about, like, 1921. The Curtis Candy Company started producing these. Before it was known as the Baby Ruth, it was actually the candy cake, uh, confectionery. It was like a circular object with a whole bunch of peanuts on it, you know, and some nougat. But it didn't really sell too well, so they renamed it to Baby Ruth, um, practically because, well, Babe Ruth, he, you know, he was on the rise to fame, and, uh, you know, they wanted a bar that was similar, you know, to his, his name, so that way they could sell a whole bunch of them at ball games and stuff. Um, he finally, uh, the Curtis Candy Company, the owner, finally sold his uh, company to Nabisco, and they bought out Baby Ruth's, and they also bought out Butterfinger Bars. And also on another side note, um, in 1990, Nabisco finally sold its uh, Curtis brands to Nestle. So Baby, Baby Ruth's and Butterfingers now belong to Nestle brands. All right, well, let's go ahead and crack it open and see what she tastes like. All right, now that we got it open, pop it open here. Seems like it has chocolate on the outside. Lots of peanuts. You know, I think in the movie Caddyshack, they actually used this exact bar for the uh, swimming pool scene. I think I remember it pretty well. Alrighty, well, let's go ahead and give her a taste and see what she tastes like. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Chocolate's pretty good. A lot of tang. Let me see if I can zoom in on the peanuts there. Good quality peanuts. They're not real bland at all. I mean, they're pretty sweet. The peanut itself is sweet. But the uh, the salt around it is, I mean, it's pretty tangy. So it's a pretty good sweet and sour, you know, mixture there. The chocolate is actually a pretty good quality chocolate. Uh, it's more of like a real watered down milk chocolate. But, I mean, it's a lot better than, you know, what you would expect. Hmm. Nougat is definitely chewy, but hmm, I'd expect it to be a little bit sweeter. The nougat is actually kind of salty, but that actually kind of complements the whole rest of the bar's taste. Well, to tell you the truth, this bar is a solid all-around performer. You know, for people who like to chew on things um, and to get stuff stuck between your teeth, you know, it's actually a pretty decent bar. It's not too bad. Hmm. If anything that there was to improve this bar, I'd probably add like a, uh, like a dark chocolate center or something. You know, just to like spice it up a little bit. But other than that, I mean, all the flavors flow pretty well. And it's, you know, a pretty excellent bar. All right, guys. Well, that's Samara. Thanks for watching.